Hello, hello. I am Michael Rosenberg, correspondent for The Alan Rosenberg Show, and this is What I Got. This is what I got. So welcome, welcome. This is episode one of What I Got, a uh, segment on The Alan Rosenberg Show where uh, we go through things we got. Um, yesterday was a Saturday. I went out shopping, and uh, I bought some things. I thought they were pretty cool, and uh, here we are. So let's go through it. Start off, I'm a big fan of video games big gamer, uh, and so I found these um, two books for a dollar a piece, and at that point, I couldn't pass it up. Uh, they are, we got here, uh, Inside the Vault, The Art and Design of Borderlands 2. Um, pretty, pretty interesting, I guess. Uh, little, little tidbit from uh, Borderlands 2. Not actually a, a series I'm a big fan of, but it's not bad. This is from the collector's edition of Borderlands 2, and for a dollar, I'm not going to pass it up. Um, then we got uh, the Deus Ex Human Revolution uh, mini art book. This is also from the collector's edition of this game. Um, and again, a dollar. It's, this one's much shinier. Uh, there's not actually a whole lot in it. Um, but again, a dollar. Not going to pass that up. Um, all right, let's get to the rest of the stuff, though. Uh, so, what else did we get? Well, got some good CD finds for really minimal money. Um, Beastie Boys to the Five Burrows. Uh, big fan of Beastie Boys. I, I really enjoy their music. Um, I have most of them. For some reason, this is one that I did not have. I uh, got it for $1.50. Um, this is in great shape, and, you know, it, it's a uh, nice little packaging. It's kind of a digi pack with a little slip cover. Um, and the texture is, is like a rough papery kind of thing. Um, it is the standard edition, but, you know, can't go wrong with that. Um, Rolling Stones Exile on Main Street. This is the, uh, I guess, original version. Uh, it's, it is digitally remastered, but it's not like a new remaster. It's from 72. Um, but uh, $2 did not have this in my Stones collection, uh, and most people argue that it is one of the best Stones albums. So, uh, you know, not going to pass that up. That'd be stupid. Next up... Halo 2 Original Soundtrack Volume 2. Now, uh, I'm a big fan of soundtracks. Um, Halo 2 Volume 1 is a soundtrack that I've had for a very long time. Uh, that came out at the same time as the game. Uh, Volume 2 actually launched a year to a year and a half later. Um, this is more of the actual uh, score and less actual songs uh, from Marty O'Donnell, but um, this is one that I, I've been looking for, have not, um, haven't come across it before, and uh, $1.50... Very happy to add it to my collection. Beatles, Let It Be. Uh, this is the 2009 remaster. Um, it is uh, Digipack, uh, Gatefold. Um, disc is in great shape. I found this at a thrift store for $2. Uh, I didn't have this one either. I had a Let It Be Naked, but, you know, can't, can't go wrong with this. Um, all right, and lastly, I got uh, this one I bought for Alan Rosenberg of the Alan Rosenberg Show for his collection. This is something that uh, I knew he'd be really excited about, and so I'm excited to give it to him. Uh, this is a Rolling Stones sampler. Uh, Rolling St for, this came out from Abco uh, when Abco re-released um, all of the, the Stones albums remastered. Um, but what's cool about this is this is an SACD sampler. So uh, it, it's six songs, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Uh, gatefold got a disc in there, um, and as you can see, if you can see, uh, it's it's specifically designed for SACD. Um, I'm pretty sure this is pretty rare. Uh, also found this in the dollar fifty bin. So really solid solid CD finds, and uh, very excited to to have those and and give uh, them to the collection of of myself and Alan. Um, lastly, we got a couple movies, uh, two movies I guess, but um, one. Lucky Grandma. This is a movie that came out a year ago, um, and uh, it's one I really wanted to see. It's uh, it's uh, about a, a Chinese woman who wins the lottery, gets involved with uh, Chinese gangs, and ends up in the middle of a gang war. Um, it's right up my alley, and uh, found this for ten dollars, um, pricier than just about everything else that I bought uh, combined. But uh, I, I this is something I was looking for, so something I was very excited to find. Lastly, I got uh, Lucio Fulci's The House by the Cemetery on DVD. This is uh, not one I've seen before. Um, I hear it's very good. Uh, and it's on the Blue Underground label. This movie came out in, I want to say, 82, 81. Uh, and this DVD came out in 2007. So it's a bit of a remaster. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm excited to watch this. Found this in the $2 bin. Um, 
the, these, these blue underground uh, label DVDs are much harder to find. Um, I know uh, Alan Rosenberg did a review recently of Mark of the Devil that was on the same uh, same same label, and it was also hard to find. So um, very excited. Uh, I think I spent a total of like twenty one dollars or something like that on all of this, uh, and that includes the ten dollar um, Blu Ray, which arguably you know pretty good deal. So I would say it was a successful day, um, and yeah, that's it. Um, that, that's that's what I got. Um, and so uh, maybe we'll do this again. Who knows? Let us know if you like it. If you don't, click the subscribe button if you want to see more from the Alan Rosenberg show. Alan Rosenberg, great guy, doing a lot of stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, until next time, Internet people. Hi, this is Alan Rosenberg, and this is what I got today. The best thing I got today is this. Um, I already have this on vinyl since it came out. But the cool thing about this is right there, SACD version of the Kinks album, Word of Mouth. It's a really good Kinks album. It's got Do It Again on it and Living on a Thin Line. But I am one of the few people probably left who has an SACD player. And I love SACD CDs. So it's got a big booklet uh, and remastered for SACD. Very excited to give this a spin and get rid of the vinyl. Um, Continuing with my ever-growing jazz collection, I got this classic, and I love the packaging. It's an Atlantic original sound of John Coltrane's classic, My Favorite Things. Love that packaging. Look at that. And I picked that up as uh, it grows. You can see $5.99, not a bad price. This is a really cool find. Maggie Bell, she was the lead singer of Stone the Crows in the 70s. And she went solo, and uh, she was on Led Zeppelin's Swan Song uh, label. I have never seen this CD before. Um, it's on Angel Air, which is a UK import, and comes with a really beautiful, thick book. And I guess Angel Air was putting out her catalog. And this was her, her first album called Queen of the Night. It's got a great band. Steve Gadd plays the drums on it. Um, what does Maggie Bell sound like? Well, kind of like uh, Bonnie Bramlett, Janis Joplin, Genya, Genya Ravon, who I love. Um, she's kind of like that. This album is kind of Menza Menza. Her second solo album, Suicide Sal, is better. But great to have this on CD. And it's got two bonus tracks, including a live version of Wishing Well, the classic free song, which is killer. So great pickup. Uh, other than that, um, completing the McCartney collection, I only have... I'm missing three McCartney solo albums. Uh, Pipes of Peace. And this was digitally remastered, state-of-the-art, up until the newest versions that McCartney's putting putting out in his archive collection. But these are really nice, uh, certainly for their time. Remastered beautifully, nice thick booklets, and uh, the lyrics, and has three bonus tracks. And believe it or not, I never had McCartney too. And this was the state-of-the-art remastered version of that with three bonus tracks up until he did the archive edition um, a couple of years ago. But good to have these in the collection. The only other McCartney album I don't have at this point is Give My Regards to Broad Street, which I'll pick up eventually. Um, other than that, continuing, I picked up today Miles Ahead, a classic Miles Davis album with Gil Evans. Um, and these are the Columbia Legacy uh releases with uh digitally remastered and beautiful thick booklets right up my alley 3.99 not bad and really cheap i picked up for a dollar joan osborne uh i had mentioned in one of my other videos i picked up one of her albums last year and i loved it and i always had relish this was her second album it was only 99 cents so i picked it up and uh i know that she does a cover of make you feel my love on here and uh, Love is Alive, which is that amazing Gary Wright song. So it's probably worth it just for that. But uh, hopefully it's a really good record. And last but not least, what the hell, it was two ninety nine dollars Pat Benatar live album from King Biscuit Flower Hour. I'm into live albums and King Biscuit you can't beat. And Pat Benatar only had one live record, uh, Live on Earth, which was a really lousy album in my opinion. So this is a full length. Live record for $2.99, worth it to have in the catalog. And then I picked up this. This is cool vinyl. Um, I already had this on vinyl. And this is a local Long Island band called Thrills. And I love the cover. Um, and uh, 
I'm going to do a series on uh, Long Island bands, but I picked this up because it's autographed. Not that these guys are famous, no offense, but I thought it'd be pretty cool to have in the collection. And it also comes with like a whole hype sheet of uh, what Thrills is doing, playing at my father's place. So I was like, eh, for two ninety nine, I'll buy it again. So anyway, that's what I picked up today. Thanks for tuning in. And my son, I miss you. He moved out. We, my son and my, we do this every week. Go shopping and hunting for really good finds and cool things. And now he moved out, moved to Brooklyn. So I miss him terribly. But I guess now he's gonna do his shopping. I'll do mine, and we could do these uh, what I got videos, hopefully. So thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.